Here in New York, Zoe Koplowitz this afternoon became the last finisher of the New York Marathon. She finished 29 hours after she started. She suffers from multiple sclerosis and diabetes, but walked the entire route with supporters. There are many stories of admirable determination when 39,000 athletes participate in a race. And John Berman spent yesterday with a very special group. The New York City Marathon is 26 grueling miles that tests your strength, your resolve, your heart. 20-year-old Corey Smith knows about heart. When the mortar hit, it's like the shockwave from the explosion, just my whole body throbbing. Corey, a Marine rifleman, lost his left leg below the knee while serving in western Iraq last year. When they cut off my boots, I couldn't feel one leg at all. So they said it was just hanging there. He used his injury as motivation to start training, marathon training. He was recruited to join the Freedom Team, a group of disabled war veterans competing in marathons across the country. Corey is using a hand crank wheelchair until he feels more comfortable on his prosthetic. Dustin Tuller is a team leader. He lost both legs in 2003 when they were riddled with gunfire in Baghdad. Uh, it gave me the opportunity to move forward with, you know, my rehab and you know, get out of the hospital and, you know, have something to look forward to. Dustin finished his first marathon in 2004. Now he spends most of the race waving and chatting up the crowd, including me at mile 23. Feeling strong still? Of course. What's the hardest part? Trying to keep my voice to talk to everybody. Corey finished in two hours and 11 minutes. Triumphant, yet a little tired. Where does it hurt? Uh, my arms, my back, my neck, my shoulders, everywhere. <laughs> but Corey puts it in perspective. Was this the toughest thing you've ever done? I can't say it's the toughest thing I've ever done. I mean, I am a Marine, but <laughs> I managed to get through it. You get the sense Corey and the Freedom Team could get through anything. John Berman, ABC News, New York.